number two, Evan Wick, redshirt sophomore, facing off against Dale Tiongson, another sophomore. Wick, is, as many know, came onto the scene last season in such a dominating fashion, finishing third in what would be Barry Davis's final year. Two points for Wick, quick takedown. He's looking for that cradle, that lanky 6'2", 6'2 and a half frame of Wick, so many times being able to catch opponents in that cradle. He came in All-American as a redshirt freshman last season. CW's 112th All-American honor. He, as we see the quick takedown, Wick just using his long wingspan of being able to lock up on Tiongson. But smart by Tiongson on not condensing his body so Wick can lock in that cradle as he's done so many times with so many opponents. Tiongson, another underclassman in the starting lineup for the Tigers. One of seven underclassmen for the Tigers that are underclassmen <laughs> as a sophomore. In Friday's action, Chongson fell to number four, Alex Marinelli of Iowa, by fall in three minutes and 55 seconds. Fans want a stalling call on Chongson. Wick of Victor against number 11, Isaiah White of Nebraska on Friday. 12 to five, Victor. White was a, an opponent last year that Wick had some trouble with. Three close bouts, two close bouts, excuse me, in which Isaiah White was able to get control of Wick in the duel last year here in Madison as Wick won some neutral one point awarded to Tiongson. But Wick was able to take the victory in the Big Ten Championships last year. Another takedown for Wick, something he led the team in last year. Over 100 takedowns to lead the Badgers. Thirty and seven a year ago. Six and three record in the always difficult Big Ten. Had himself quite a run in the NCAA tournament. Stalling call on Tiongson. Another point awarded to Wick. Wick was able to defeat Logan Massa of Michigan multiple times. Massa's, many Badger fans remember, gave Isaac Jordan a difficult time in Jordan's senior campaign. As we can see, the replay of Wick being able to pull in that leg on Tiongson and score another two points as we begin the second four to one. Just so difficult to grab the legs of Wick. Such a tall frame, you don't see too many six foot tall, 165 pound wrestlers, let alone six two. And as you can see, even last year when Wick faced very big competition like Isaiah Martinez and Richie Lewis and some of those difficult losses that he had, those powerhouse names who even had a difficult time with just being able to get a mat return on Wick as he was able to just stilt out those long legs of his. Something that Wick has certainly adapted to. One point as Tiongson looked to escape through the circle. It's now seven to two in favor of Wick. Wick.
Wick began his great run in the NCAA tournament in Cleveland last year. With a win over Drew Daniels of Navy to begin where it then it would set up yet another match between him and Logan Massa. Another two points for Evan Wick. Wick seeded 10th. Arguably, again, had one of the best tournaments out of any res wrestler along with Matt Kolodzik of Princeton at 149 pounds. Wick defeated the number seven seeded wrestler in Logan Massa when he defeated him again by a nine to six decision. And he's looking to get that cradle locked in. Tiongson breaks it. Cradle, easy to say. Wick's number one move when he's on top, which he quite frequently occurs. Another stalling call for Tiongson as the second winds out. As you can see, Wick just pull him in there. Look to gain control to try and get that cradle locked in. 10 to two Wick heading into the third here. Tiongson chooses bottom. Wick has the riding point already locked in with three minutes and 26 seconds. Caution to begin the third. And after a loss for Wick in the NCAA tournament last season, to David McFadden of Virginia Tech. Wick ran the table from there in the Constellations going 4-0 as he has the cradle locked in. Can he fall it over and bring his momentum? He's looking to roll Tiongson over, but Tiongson still just being able to break that open. Wick was able to defeat 12th seed Nick Wanzik of Minnesota by a three minute and 17 fall. Where after he was able to defeat John J. Chavez of Cornell by nine to two and then a very impressive showing where he defeated the fifth seeded Alex Marinelli of Iowa in a 15 to three major decision. That would set up the third place match where Wick was able to get Chance Marsteller of Lockhaven in a pin that has become quite Quite famous for Wisconsin wrestling. Three minute and 20 second fall for Wick where he was able to lock that trademark cradle in, roll over Marsteller and get a very quick pin count, get him on his back, both shoulders down. Another two points for Wick. Began the season ranked number two, remains number two in the 165 pound weight class. Behind two time national champion Vincenzo Joseph of Penn State. The Badgers and the Penn State Nittany Lions will actually meet each other later in the season, which for many wrestling fans has to be a matchup of Wick and Joseph that's been circled for quite a while. Badgers will head to University Park, Pennsylvania and on January 13th, noon start time as Wick picks up, picks up the victory. So you can see the final sprawl out by Wick and being able to help secure the win.